All right, for lifers, Drew Canoli here. I'm here with a familiar face, Dr. Lauren Noel. We'd like to call her Dr. Lowe. Hello. And Camille is joining us as well. Camille has a cookbook. She helps people that are inspired in the kitchen and she brings a little bit more inspiration to the everyday paleo menu. She's got a book out called Paleo Gasm. Interesting title. I'm ready. I'm ready to dig into some of these recipes. Are you ready for a paleo gasm? I'm ready to have a paleo gasm. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what we go, got going on here, Dr. Love. So we're making a bone broth today. So bone broth is extremely healing to the digestive tract. As you know, this whole program is all about healing your gut. So many of us have inflammation in our gut and it's all about healing it using natural therapies. So we're gonna show you today how to make bone broth. We've taken this recipe from Camille's book, Paleogasm, and we're gonna walk you through step-by-step step in how to do this today from your kitchen. <laughs> Give me three benefits of bone broth. Like okay. outside, we know it's good for the gut, but what does it really do? Yeah, right? well, the reason why it's good for the gut is it's loaded with gelatin. Okay, so the same stuff that makes jello kind of jiggle is yeah. what's in bone broth that helps to heal your gut. So that's first off is gelatin. The second thing is it's loaded with something called glycoaminoglycans, also Can called gags. Glyco amino glycans. Yep, okay. also known as gags. And gags are especially important for your joints and your connective tissue. So if you have like, you know, chronic injuries, you can't really heal as well, you're an athlete, this is a great food to have on a regular basis. Okay. So that's number two. And number three is it's loaded with glycine. Glycine is especially important for your mental, emotional wellness. Um, it just really helps to just kind of calm down the nervous system. <laughs> so gelatin, gags, glycine. And, and collagen. Uh, collagen. Yeah. Excellent. Yep. It's a major, major superfood. I recommend for patients to have it every single day, a cup a day. Um, if you're healing up from something, maybe you had a recent surgery, two cups a day. Uh, let's walk through this step by step. I'm going to let you, you know, ladies take over in the kitchen. I'm going to get out of your way, but I'm going to watch and see exactly how this happens. You guys watch this too. Take some notes. Uh, we should have it laid out below this video as well. So if you just want to grab the directions there, you totally can do that. But I encourage you to watch this because it's going to get a little exciting in here when uh, we make this recipe. So let's do this. Let's do this. So here we are in the kitchen. We're starting our bone broth. So Camille has cut up some celery. And then uh, we have some shallots, right? Yep. Shallots are sort of like a cross between an uh, onion and garlic. And then we have lots of garlic. Um, this you you don't really need to do a whole lot to it. I just like to take out the outer layers and then we're gonna just smash it down. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna roast up the bones. We have these really awesome bones. We have um, some beef marrow bones and then we also have beef knuckle bones. Um, so we have our celery here and then we have our really succulent, beautiful pieces of meat and bones, and I'm just gonna sprinkle it pretty liberally with this Redmond's Real Salt. So we have um, some wonderful garlic that I just separated from the clove, and now we're just gonna give it a little smash with the back of a nice big knife. Ooh. And you don't need to say, you don't need to take it out, you don't need to mess with it. We're not gonna end up eating any of these vegetables. They don't need to be cut beautifully. You just wanna release some of these juices. Just to sprinkle them on here. And we're just gonna slice the shallots in half. I like to use onions. That is pretty much it. So we're gonna toss this on here. We have the oven at 475 right now. And the reason why we're roasting it first, you don't have to roast all this stuff first, but it's gonna give it a really, really epic flavor. So we're just gonna toss this in the oven until it's nice and roasted. That's probably gonna take us about 30 to 45 minutes. All right, you guys. If you were in this kitchen with us, you would smell what's happening here. Mm -hmm. It smells delicious. It's amazing. So now we're going to unveil the bones. Are you ready? All right. Unveil the bones, Camille. Let's do this. So now we're just going to dump this in. I'm gonna throw in some dried and fresh herbs, no, just dried herbs, and, um, and we're going to cook it for a minimum 12 hours. So uh, the last thing we're gonna do to uh, finish off our bone broth, I filled uh, the crock pot with really good quality water, and then uh, we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and what that's gonna do is it's actually gonna extract all of the, the minerals in the bones out of the bones about that much is good. Give it a little stir. And right now I have this one set to cook for 20 hours. You're gonna 
begin to notice that, um, so you want it to be a low simmer and that should happen with this here. Um, if it, you know, with a crock pot, you're, it's not gonna cook too high, but you definitely, you don't want a super rapid boil. You're gonna also notice some foam is gonna begin to collect over the top, so you can just skim that off as you go. And there you have it, your bone broth. Okay, so that's it guys. So get your butt on over to the next video. Watch that, do that. And uh, remember, we are in this together. Thanks. I don't know from where. Anyway, the last step. <laughs>